Hi everyone, our journal page today. I am using this uh, journal I made from black Bristol paper. It's a uh, connected back to back and I want to start collaging on uh, and making a background from all kinds of uh, book pages uh, mostly. I've got and I found an old book with this kind of illustrations and I've taken several of them out just ripped it didn't want a uh, straight edges to the pieces if you don't have anything like this with illustrations I've taken other another book I have very old I've bought it second hand like three decades ago so <laughs> I stamped on it uh, whatever I leaves I had just to have some interesting pieces uh, to add to this I've got another paper that I've uh, stamped don't remember for which project it was and I've got music sheet so basically that's uh, the material for for my page and I knew when I wanted to make this page that I wanted some saying here and what I've done is so it will go with the rest of this I've always in this kind of old books I'm always keeping the first uh, and the uh, and at the end of the book there are blank pages and I use them to stamp them or stencil on them and then it goes with the rest of your page so I've taken one of those and just stenciled on it this was the stencil and I didn't want all these arrows so I've just put it on this page which was here and went with a simple felt pen because I wanted a very nice print and I didn't want to um, do it with an acrylic uh, paint or with inks so I've got this and it's going to I'm going to build around it I'm going to take off most of it because I don't need all this and I I'm going to keep it because now I will have more a uh, paper to stamp on for other projects so I'm just taking out most of the excess that I don't need I will leave this uh, on the side I'm just going to use a, a glue stick it's not a it's very thin paper it doesn't need anything more than a glue stick so I'm placing this here and now it's just starting to play with all the pieces I've got and it's quite random the only thing is that if I have straight edges like here I will try and use it where I've got a straight edge on my page here we go one here and I can take this one and it doesn't have to be straight and it doesn't have to uh, the text doesn't have to be readable it's just playing around and putting pieces all over it's a little bit difficult here I've got uh, this ladybugs sticking so it's a bit of, a little bit of a problem put one here and I'm putting it uh, outside the edges of my page and I'll trim it later it really doesn't matter I 
I'm, I'm only trying to... Um, I've tore this because I want it here and inside my page I'm, I don't want straight edges. Let's see. Let's use something else. All the excess will be cut later. So I'm going to just glue uh, more pieces until I've got complete coverage and then I'll come back. I'm back. So everything is uh, covered and I want to darken uh, several places, add uh, some kind of more uh, paint color but not something opaque that will cover everything. So I'm going to use chalk pastels with a baby wipe and I'm going to take the darker uh, a brown and put it first of all on the edges of my page like this. And I'm taking a lighter color and adding in several places especially these ones that are the lighter ones in color and just another a uh, brown which is a little bit a uh, lighter on in several places around okay so I'm going to start and we'll see where it goes and if I need to add something I'm going to start with the edges like so and going now inside well i almost forgot here never mind moving uh, to another uh, place and just activating the chalk pastels on the other pieces here in the background So it didn't go to all the places I wanted, so I will just add where I think it's needed. If I think this corner needs a little bit more or this or here. So I'm just going to put a little bit in several places that I think it's needed. And just again go over with my baby wipe. Only this piece I've left without uh, coloring it. I think it needs to stand out on my page, so I've left it as is. So now everything is more uh, tinted with brown. I'm moving the chalk pastels and I've got some a uh, brown spray. This is a uh, homemade, it's from gel food coloring and water i just put a few drops of gel food coloring and water in the spray bottle and test 
uh, the intensity if it needs more and what I want to do is first of all spray just a little bit like this so it changes the marks on my page and not everything uh, looks like the chalk pastels and what I'm going to do now is I want to make some stains on on the background so I'm just flicking it and spraying in several places it needs to be random like I've spilled coffee or whatever <laughs> so uh, I think this is it I want this to completely dry and then we'll continue I'll be back I'm back okay so now I want to add some uh, decorative elements to my page I'm going to use this stencil with distress ink this is ground espresso and I'm going to use this makeup brush and start working it here in the hopes that it will work it's not it, you need to put quite some pressure on it so it will take and most of the time you don't see it until <laughs> you lift the stencil off now uh, again I don't want to use acrylic paint I want something to be I want to add decoration that are translucent I'm not I don't want coverage and something opaque like acrylic paint so that's why I'm using this I could probably uh, use also the spray but uh, that this method uh, gives me more control than the spray and the spray can get under the stencil and I don't want it if you don't have this kind of brush just uh, use a makeup sponge it doesn't have to be this makeup brush yeah so going to uh, add let's do this so it's going to take a little bit of time as you can see I'm going to do this section here and I'll be back I'm back so finished with this and this and now I want to stencil here and this time I am using acrylic paint I'm going to use this stencil I've made and I'm going to let's see here something like that or maybe flip it over yeah I think this is it so I've got uh, some purples here um, by Art Deco I've, ha I've got dark purple a uh, dark maroon and Bordeaux and I'm using a makeup sponge and I'm just going to randomly uh, put them on my page and alternate between them this stencil uh, <laughs> started uh, it's basically it's a eucalyptus uh, tree branch and like three years ago I found the branch on the ground and I decided I wanted to paint it on a big canvas and I've taken that home and just put it on a canvas and traced it and painted it and done all kinds of things and that was three years ago and now I've looked at it and I said I can make something out of this uh, eucalyptus tree uh, and with Photoshop and I've printed it 
and traced it again only uh, in size uh, to match an A4 and that's how it came to be it took me a lot of time to cut it from the acetate but I think it was worth it now it's it's not going to be a great print because it's quite uh, difficult with all the leaves here and it moves and I'm trying to keep it in place and it doesn't matter even if I would uh, put masking tape at the sides it's the leaves here that it it lifts off the page that's the best explanation I can give and but I'm going to continue doing it and if I feel it needs more definition I will just use some permanent marker uh, to go and make some more a uh, definition to this branch we'll see right now i just want to finish putting down paint and as you can see i'm switching as i go i don't want it solid paint i i want it to mix i want it to change as i go and here it is so as you see here it bleed and uh, there is a bleed between these two but i don't care it, it first of all it can be fixable and it really doesn't matter and it seems like i've left one leaf here so going back yeah so I'm going to leave this to dry and then we'll continue. I'm back. So now the only thing is uh, where I thought uh, it needs a little bit of a correction for that matter. I just took some marker. This is a brush marker from Windsor and Newton just because uh, the color fits the bill for this uh, thing and I, I can fix wherever I think it's needed nothing to it and I can also leave it be I can take a, a black permanent marker and go all over all around my uh, image whatever you feel you need now I want more of a more uh, leaves in the back but not the same stencil I'm taking this stencil that I've done I have also uh, made this but I want them in the back and what I'm going to do is use again this uh, brush and I'm going to start with this seedless preserves distress ink and just put a little bit here I'm trying to go <laughs> with the stencil because again if not it lifts off I need to hold it and put pressure I've taken out also this a uh, wilted violet because I'm not sure if this color will fit uh, with my page so i'm putting it uh, on now but if i feel it's not enough then i will switch to the other color so yeah just a hint of um uh, of more leaves so i'm going to do the same here and i'm not going to change the color i'm going to continue with this one good enough for me it doesn't need to be complete it doesn't to uh, 
be very uh, prominent on the page. It's in the background. That's why I'm going with this and again not with an acrylic paint. just a hint of more uh, leaves more branches in the back yeah I think basically this is it I don't want to overwhelm my page I really like this although it's quite monochromatic don't know how much you can see with this uh, clear acetate it's a problem to see the stencil I don't want it to cover this although I really think it <laughs> I need a just maybe here a little bit in the back again I'm deciding as I go it's not something that I plan on Okay, yeah, I like it. I'm leaving it be before I'm doing damage. <laughs> I need to know where to stop. So this is it. That's my page. I really like it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.